Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be for February 2021, like I said. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. Okay, we have two cards there. So we have, oh, wonderful. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that combination. We have the Knight of Coins and the Moon. Okay. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. For February 2021. Forgiveness here, Gemini. Remember, forgiveness is generally for the benefit of you, it's so that you don't carry toxic energy with you. Okay, so angels, what is the message for our lovely Geminis, please? Angels, spirits, guides. What does Gemini need to hear the most? Thank you. So for me, this is very much enlightenment from within. Uh, meditation brings answers. It might well be some of you do do meditation. It is finding answers, illumination from within. Feels very hermit energy here. Um, the hermit shines the lamp on how to find wisdom, answers, knowledge and how to take action. So there's definitely the energy of your being illuminated. So I'm going to pull four cards, can roughly work out as one card per week, and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Gemini, so just take what resonates with you. And remember, the messages may overlap because divine timing and all that. So let's see what we have for you. Message for Gemini, please, for February 2021. What is the message for Gemini for February 2021, please? Okay, so I have the Seven of Wands, the Hanged Man, Ten of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Very nice, love the Ace of Cups energy. Okay. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. Okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles. The Hanging Man. We have King of Cups, Card of Scorpio. The Ten of Wands is clarified by the Four of Wands. And the Ace of Cups is clarified with the Emperor. Bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, Gemini. I mean, he, he feels this is to do with love, romance, relationships. Because the moon energy is, it can be a card of hidden blessings. Trust your intuition, you're being guided. You don't see the big picture, but the universe does, and it's guiding you in the right direction. And again, that's what that Knight of Coins is here to say. It's interesting that I was feeling Virgo energy, the Hermit with the meditation brings answers, because this is Virgo energy as well. And it feels in this situation, it feels to do with it feels to do with getting back on track, healing 
getting something back on track. And it feels in terms of love, romance, relationships. I mean, the Knight of Coins can also be an offer or an opportunity. So the other, the other way to see this reading is if you have been struggling financially as a relationship, if you have both felt the burden of a relationship here, um, there's definitely an energy of if, if finances, money, career have put a burden on your relationship, there's definitely a burden of, you know, hidden blessings, you know, an offer, an opportunity that brings positive change is coming your way. So I feel, I'm kind of feeling that kind of, I mean, the, the kind of message with the cards is the cards remain the same, but obviously it is a general reading here. So there's definitely an energy of either you're getting back on track as a relationship or there is something affecting your relationship, affecting, putting burdens on your relationship. Let's clarify this Seven of Wands. But with the card of forgiveness, it, it feels more to do with within the relationship itself. The moon can be anxiety, uh, not getting perspective, you know, it's that kind of energy of the, the way you're looking at something can be disproportionate to what it really is even though it's based in fact it can be where our wildest fears you know just play havoc distort our reality so there's definitely energy with the knight of coins you have an opportunity to focus ground yourself and get back on track it's the practical factual energy so let's clarify this seven of wands yeah i like that i mean the sun is beautiful um, the Seven of Wands is a card of challenge uh, and with the Sun card which is a card of it can be a card of putting something behind you releasing, letting go of whatever this challenge represented so there's definitely some good sign here so whatever has challenged you, either within your relationship or something maybe affecting your relationship, it feels that things, there are good times ahead. I mean, the sun is also a card of healing and restoration. Um, so definitely in this energy, it feels, it feels quite poignant. I mean, the sun is good news, celebration, joy, happiness, contentment. It's a feel-good energy, positivity, warmth, vitality. But there's definitely an energy with the Seven of Wands, keep going, persevere. This requires your attention to, to keep going at something. You will overcome the challenge. Um, and the Four of Pentacles is, I mean, sometimes, like I said, I mean, in terms of money career, this can be to do with being careful with money. But it's also a foundational energy of, of finding stability and security. So it can be the challenge in bringing stability and security back into your relationship. Maybe the challenge of value as well. Is, is it worth persevering? Is this of value to me? Is it worth persevering on? You know, it's that kind of energy. And I'm definitely getting this energy of something is worth fighting for here. And that's what this sun is telling you. This is worth fighting for. Yeah. There is kind of like an energy of don't hold on to things that are going to stop you making progress, you know? If, if there's something about holding on to something that is, that is stopping you moving on or making progress in a situation, just be careful about that for you as a couple. Um, the Hanging Man. And the King of Cups, it feels like a level of, of diplomacy. I mean, the, the King of Cups... 
sometimes it can be a card of it can be a card of keeping things to yourself sometimes this king of cups energy is not the easiest person to read male or female energy and again the hanging man can be a card of feeling in limbo waiting for something to play out something hasn't quite played out yet and again the king of cups is a card of it feels in this situation some kind of diplomacy i'm getting diplomacy tact heart to heart let's clarify this king of cups please The Hanging Man is also a card of surrender, let go. Finding that new perspective. And again, the more you look at something and hold on to something, there's definitely an energy you don't move forward. So there's definitely an energy of, of a new approach or a new perspective is needed in this situation. And again, I'm getting some kind of diplomacy here. It's almost kind of like you, you won't see the solution. Yeah, we have the King of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So the King of Swords is, is doing the right and honourable thing, doing the right thing. It is an energy, it's a card of, of honour, mental clarity. Um, it feels there's a need to look at something in a different way to get clarity, to see the way forward, to move on from something that's causing stress, anxiety, worry. Um, because if you keep on looking at something the same way, it feels like there's just a stuck energy. It feels like some kind of standoff energy here, Gemini. And there's definitely an energy of, of doing the right thing, the honorable, the fair thing, the just thing to do in this situation, um, to see the way forward. Um, I mean, the King of Swords will take action. He's very, he's very much a forward-moving energy, a forward-looking energy, um, somebody who takes authority, applies clarity, logic, reason, reasoned arguments, reasons, discussions. I'm getting some level of diplomacy here as well, Gemini, in order to overcome something that has been causing you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. Now, the other thing that I will say is, is if it's to do with something that's affecting your relationship, it feels that you might be getting some kind of professional advice, professional help. If you don't see the way forward in a situation, um, if something's causing you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry, it feels that there could be some professional help or advice that you might be getting here if it's to do with money and career on how you put a plan into action to deal with the situation, to move you on from this hanged man energy. Uh, because the, the Ten of Wands is a card of burdens, but it's the Ten, which is a completion. And again, it's the feeling of something has deeply burdened. It feels the home, the family, the relationship here. Generally, the, the Four of Wands is the happy home. But this is something that is built up over a period of time, the Ten of Wands. Something that has made you feel stuck in limbo. And there's a need, to, there's a desire to let go, release. And in this situation, it feels like looking at something from a different perspective will help you find the solution. In relationships, there's a feeling of being diplomatic, you know, not holding on to something but almost kind of like releasing and doing the fair and honourable thing to bring a solution to a situation, to see the way forward. Because the Ten of Wands is a Ten, so there's definitely an energy of you can put the burdens down should you choose to now. Um, it feels like something has run its course. Let's clarify this Nine of Wands. Well, actually, no, let's clarify this Ace of Cups. 
let's do this ace of cups please angel spirits guides let's clarify this ace of cups you yeah we've got the king of cups so it feels like i mean some of you could be dealing with a scorpio um it feels like there's some kind of standoff here and again i've got two king of cups now so there's definitely this energy of there's an opportunity to renew love here in this relationship i mean it's, it might not be a scorpio it could be water energy so pisces scorpio Cancer can also be somebody who embraces the energies of the King of Cups, somebody who isn't always easy to read, somebody who is very compassionate, very caring person. But it feels in this situation that there's been some kind of either stand up in a relationship or something that has burdened your relationship. And there's a need to deal with something, look at something, a fresh approach in this situation in order to release the burdens because definitely there's some emotional renewal um new love i mean this is next phase new love but it feels like some kind of reconciliation forgiving making peace moving on from a situation but in order to do that this is about not standing guard over the battles that's finished i mean everyone's gone home this person still stands guard and still continues to fight and there's this energy of don't keep on fighting a battle that can end now that you can liberate from so it feels in this you know because and certainly for some of you i mean this ace of cups is is happiness it's joy it's the cup of joy um you're being guided to it by God, the divine, the universe. It is a new beginning energy or, or turning the page energy towards a new beginning or emotionally moving on from something. That's what you're being asked to do now um, because there's definitely still, definitely still something to fight for. It feels in a relationship. And the emperor is a card of take the initiative. He is a four and he is a master four. He's the major arcana four. You have the opportunity to take the initiative, take control of this situation and bring stability and security back into your life. New love. Um, he's a card of authority, taking charge, taking control of something. Um, and it feels like what, what this Ten of Wands, this Nine of Wands, standing guard over the past, the past burdens that are built up over some time, there's an energy of there is an opportunity to surrender and release. And that's what that moon energy is and get back on track. And again, the Knight of Coins is a card of healing, but also a card of stability, security, getting back on track energy, finding your foundation again. Um, so definitely in this energy, I'm feeling, Gemini, that something is happening here that is allowing you, that may cause some challenge. And there will be some desire, I don't know on what side, to hold on to something here. There is a message, a fresh approach, fresh eyes, fresh perspective is needed to see the way forward and find the solution because you have an opportunity, these burdens, they may have built up over a period of time here, or it might well be something that has come in and challenged you and burdened you, your relationship, your home, your family. But there is definitely a sense of this new beginning coming your way, which is bringing a new level of happiness, a new reconnection to each other. If you take control and don't let the past have hold over you. This is definitely an energy of it is time to release the past, release whatever this challenge has been in a relationship don't hold on to it there's an energy of newfound stability and security can be found here um and remember the the emperor is a is a kind of um establishment energy it feels like this is the establishment the four of wands the happy home energy and this feels like it's the re 
establishing of the establishment, <laughs> so to speak, um, can also be very good in money and career, the Ace of Cups with the Emperor as well. So maybe a new level of success that is bringing you back, you know, um, and helping you move on from the past. But definitely this Knight of Coins is saying change is possible in this situation. You have the opportunity to get back on track, but it feels in this energy, don't hold on to things that you shouldn't hold on to. Yeah. It's a deep energy, Gemini, and you know, you might be dealing with an Aquarius. I don't know whether I've said Aquarius in this reading um, more than once, but you know, you might be dealing with an Aquarius, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, you might be dealing with an Aries, I mean, you might be dealing with a Virgo. So some of these cards may be people in your life or a person. So what do we have for Gemini, please, as a final message? What do we have for Gemini as a final message? Thank you. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. We have elephant grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. And that's what that Knight of Coins asks you to do. It's earth energy. And we have crane, surrender, let go of limiting beliefs. Be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. And that is the danger of this, holding on to something that is stopping the progress, you know. Um, and again, this Nine of Wands, you know, I'm not ready to let this go yet. You know, it's that kind of energy. So just be very careful of that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.